Ohio has a vibrant natural history. The land we see is the result of eons of complex geologic processes, from striking rock formations to beautiful rolling plains to dynamic lakes and rivers, our state is adorned with the remnants of a multifaceted geologic evolution. Few places in the state compare with the beautiful Hocking Hills region of southeastern Ohio. The scenic features of the Hocking Hills are formed in bedrock that was deposited more than 350 million years ago when Ohio lay under a warm inland sea. Rivers flowed into this sea, carrying both fine and coarse-grained sands, which settled to the sea bottom. Over the centuries, the accumulating sand formed the hard sedimentary rock known as Black Hand Sandstone. Subsequent periods of uplift and stream erosion created the picturesque landscape we see today. The Black Hand features a soft zone prone to weathering, sandwiched between harder zones, which are resistant to weathering. The contrast in these zones results in dramatic overhangs, recesses, and shelter caves. Such features are most prominent in the vicinity of Old Man's Cave State Park, where visitors can explore shelter caves, narrow gorges, and natural waterfalls. The recessed caves at Old Man's Cave and nearby Ash Cave are carved in the soft middle zone of the Black Hand Sandstone. Another popular site lies off State Route 374 in southern Hawking County, a giant horseshoe-shaped precipice 150 feet high known as Cantwell Cliffs. Here, large fallen rocks and narrow passageways beckon explorers of all ages. And just down the road, the beautiful and remote Rock House sets within a massive 150-foot high cliff face. Stone steps lead through the windows of Rock House to a tunnel-like passage 200 feet long and 25 feet high. Other features worth exploring include Cedar Falls, Saltpeter Cave, and Kunkel's Hollow. One of Ohio's most photogenic sites is Rock Bridge Natural Bridge near Rock Bridge, Ohio. Here, visitors will find Ohio's largest natural arch, carved out of the Black Hand Sandstone and spanning nearly 100 feet. The Black Hand Sandstone gets its name from a large, dark, hand-shaped petroglyph, a type of inscription, that was engraved on the face of the sandstone cliff found at Black Hand Gorge in Licking County. The Black Hand Sandstone creates a rugged topography and is responsible for scenic features throughout eastern Ohio. Moving west to the vicinity of Yellow Springs, Ohio, we find another area greatly shaped by ice and water over the course of millions of years. Here, John Bryan State Park and the adjoining Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve owe their existence to the power of the Little Miami River. Entering the area at Clifton, Ohio, at 980 feet above sea level, the Little Miami drops 130 feet through many layers of dolomite, limestone, and shale. Each layer has its own characteristics and tells a story to tell of times when the area was covered by warm, shallow seas, or was part of a muddy river delta, or was scoured by tons of slow-moving glacial ice. Some of the shales are easily worn away by erosion, causing undercutting in the cliff face. The more erosion-resistant dolomite and limestone above are weakened by this undercutting, causing large blocks of rock, called slump blocks, to fall away. The results are unusual rock formations, including steamboat rock. Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve protects one of the most spectacular dolomite and limestone gorges in the state, at one point, the river funnels through a deep, narrow channel formed in the Cedarville, Springfield, and Euphemia Dolomites. Clifton Gorge is the result of erosion by large meltwater rivers, originating from the waning Wisconsinian Continental Glacier nearly 20,000 years ago. Because the different layers of rock forming the sides of the gorge vary in their ability to resist erosion, a distinct profile has developed. Resistant Cedarville Dolomite forms the upper cliff, which rises 40 to 50 feet. Less resistant Dolomites beneath have weathered out to form recesses. In many places, this undercutting has allowed the Cedarville to collapse to form slump blocks. Easily eroded shale forms the lower slope. The gorge is being slowly widened over time, as shown by recent rockfalls. Similar to Clifton Gorge, the rock ledges at Nelson Kennedy Ledges State Park 
are the result of long-term stream and glacial erosion. These outcrops are among the few in northern Ohio that aren't entirely covered by glacial sediments. Here, visitors can observe rock known as the Sharon Conglomerate, a sedimentary rock formed some 310 million years ago. The Sharon overlies marine shales of the Cuyahoga Formation, formed around 350 million years ago, when the area was an ocean floor. Elsewhere, visitors will see house-sized blocks that have slowly crept away from the main cliff, creating a maze of passageways to explore and a home for many trees, wildflowers, and other plants. Other impressive rock formations found throughout the state include caves, such as the Ohio Caverns in Champaign County, Olentangy Indian Caverns in Delaware County, and Seneca Caverns in Seneca County, and nearly 100 natural arches and bridges, including Rock Bridge and Rock House, Trimmer Arch in Ross County, Ladd Natural Bridge in Washington County, and Raven Rock Arch in Scioto County. Some of Ohio's most scenic gorges and valleys are found in Hocking Hills, the Paint Creek and Rocky Fork region of Highland and Ross Counties, Caesar Creek Gorge State Nature Preserve, and within Cuyahoga Valley National Park, where the Cuyahoga Valley has been transformed by multiple glaciations and the flow of the Cuyahoga River. The result is a variety of features, such as Brandywine Falls, Bridalvale Falls, Blue Hen Falls, and Tinker's Creek Gorge. Glaciers of the Ice Age covered about two-thirds of Ohio. The advance and retreat of these glaciers have created spectacular bedrock exposures, as well as less obvious features, a legacy of rich fertile soils, vibrant marshes and wetlands, and an abundance of mineral resources. Evidence of the Ice Age is most apparent at Kelly's Island in the western basin of Lake Erie. The island was formed when massive ice sheets from Canada advanced into Ohio and gouged and scoured the bedrock. Their tremendous weight left deep depressions that filled with meltwater as the climate warmed and the glaciers retreated, forming the Great Lakes. Evidence of the glaciers can still be seen in the grooves and striations in the island's bedrock. On the north end of the island lays Glacial Grooves State Memorial, where a large tract of grooves has been exposed. Around 18,000 years ago, the grooves were carved out of the Columbus limestone. At 400 feet long, 15 feet deep, and 35 feet wide, they are believed to be the largest example of glacial striations in the world. Some evidence of the Ice Age is less apparent. The Ohio landscape was shaped not only by what glaciers eroded away, but also by the sediments they deposited. Such deposits create a gently rolling topography, with both flat and hilly areas, small lakes and ponds, small mounds, and large ridges hundreds of miles long. One such feature is found at Siegenthaler Kessner Esker State Nature Preserve. An esker is a narrow ridge of stratified, or layered, till that has been sorted and deposited by running water. Eskers commonly have steep sides and a sinuous shape, and most were formed in tunnels carved through the lowest level of the glacier by meltwater streams. When the glacier finally melted away, the rocks, sand, and gravel dropped in the bed of the stream remained as an esker to mark its course. Siegenthaler Esker is divided into several distinct ridges, the small knolls north of the eskers are cames, piles of gravel dropped into pits and crevices in the glacier by meltwater streams flowing on top of the ice. The wide, flat valley west of the eskers is an outwash channel made of gravel melted out of the glacier and deposited in sheets in front of its retreating edge. The small pond to the east is known as a kettle and was formed when a block of ice was left behind and was surrounded by till. When it melted, a depression remained, which filled with groundwater. Eskers, cames, and kettles are called ice contact features because they were formed in or against ice. Ice contact features are found throughout Ohio and often are the basis for complex ecosystems. For example, the Oak Openings Preserve near Toledo offers a look at several distinct habitats, including savannas, woodlands, sand barrens, and prairies all made possible by the complex glacial geology of the region, 
These habitats serve as home to a great biodiversity of plants and animals, many of which are not found anywhere else in the state. Other sites where Ohio's glacial geology can be observed and studied include the Portage Lakes region of northeastern Ohio, where numerous bogs and marshes dot the landscape. Pickerington Ponds, just east of Columbus, Cedar Bog in Champaign County, and Stages Pond in Pickaway County. Lake Erie, too, has been shaped by the glaciers of the Ice Age and has had several stages of existence in its complex geologic history. Long ago, it existed as a basin or lowland valley of an ancient river system. Each glaciation of the Ice Age further carved out and destroyed this drainage system deepening and enlarging the basin. The oldest rocks from which the Lake Erie Basin was carved are about 400 million years old and formed in a tropical ocean reef environment. The Lake Erie Islands are made of limestone and dolomite that were resistant to the powerful glaciers. These same rocks make up the western shores stretching from Maumee Bay to Sandusky and provide abundant sources of industrial minerals for roads and buildings as shown by the legacy of quarrying in and around Marblehead. Just west of Sandusky, less resistant shales began to dominate the coastline, stretching all the way to the northeastern corner of the state and beyond. These weaker shales form steep bluffs, especially in the vicinity of Painesville, that are highly prone to coastal erosion, posing a great risk to lakefront properties and infrastructure. Lake Erie is an important source of water to shoreline communities, a mecca for recreational activities, and provides numerous habitats for many species of plants and animals in its beaches, dunes, marshes, and estuaries. While development along the shores of Lake Erie have all but eliminated the presence of sandy beaches and dunes, Headlands Dunes State Nature Preserve, located adjacent to Headlands Dunes State Park in Lake County, is one of the last natural beaches in Ohio. With the aid of man-made structures known as jetties and breakwaters, Headlands Beach has changed dramatically since 1825. These structures help trap sand along the shore, creating longer, wider beaches and dunes, which are ideal habitats for plants and wildlife, and offer a great public beach for recreation. Other vibrant areas along the lake include Cleveland Lakefront State Park, Sheldon Marsh, and Old Woman Creek State Nature Preserve, one of the few remaining freshwater type estuaries in the Lake Erie region. An estuary is a place where the land's freshwaters meet and mix with the salt water of the sea and where water levels are affected by tides. Lake Erie is actually a freshwater inland sea, and the estuary at Old Woman Creek brings together many kinds of life including birds, mammals, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and insects. Ohio has a rich record of fossil plants and animals preserved in rocks spanning some 500 million years. Fossils are important bookmarks in the geologic history written in Ohio's rocks. They tell us not only about the age and mineral composition of rocks, but also about the natural environment at the time these plants and animals inhabited the world. Rocks in the southwestern and northwestern areas of Ohio are world famous for the abundance, variety, and excellent preservation of fossils they contain. Caesar Creek State Park draws paleontologists and fossil collectors from all over the world. The park area sits on a geologic structure known as the Cincinnati Arch, a convex tilting of bedrock layers. Younger rocks lie east and west of this crest, where some of the state's oldest rocks are exposed. These limestones and shales tell of a sea that covered the state 450 million years ago, as shown in the park's excellent marine fossils, such as brachiopods, bryozoans, gastropods, and trilobites, including Ohio's official state fossil, the elusive isotelus. 200 miles north at Fossil Park in Sylvania, Ohio, fossil hunters again find a great opportunity for collecting younger marine plants and animals, Visitors can travel back in time some 375 million years ago, when Northwest Ohio was a great sea teeming with life. Here, the shales of the silica formation contain abundant trilobites and brachiopods. Other fossil collecting sites are scattered throughout Ohio, such as Oaks Quarry Park in Fairborn and Houston Wood State Park near Oxford. 
A tour of Ohio scenic geology would not be complete without a stop at Flint Ridge State Memorial in western Licking County. Here, visitors can observe Flint, Ohio's official gemstone, in its natural state. Flint can be found throughout eastern Ohio and has been an important natural resource since prehistoric times. A variety of quartz, Flint is a hard, durable stone that can be easily shaped. It was sought after by Native Americans for use as tools, weapons, and other implements. Later, settlers to Ohio used impure deposits of flint for birthstones to grind grain in their water mills and for grindstones to sharpen tools. Other uses included glazing for ceramics and to enamel glassware. Today, Ohio flint is highly prized for its color, hardness, and ability to take a high polish and is sought after by collectors, lapidarists, and artists the world over who use it to make beautiful jewelry. Ohio's natural features take many forms and teach us much about our state's geologic heritage. Some of them are small, some large, and some are difficult to find and even more difficult to understand. But they all carry in them both science and lore that define the beautiful Ohio landscape.